Okay, in this video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at the next stage. So you can see now we're basically at number six here. So we've just done the pages, we've added the text, now we'll look at the links, and then we can start looking at the images and the media that we need to uh, put in there. So the links what I'm referring to here is more to do with uh, the navigation bar. Uh, so I'm going to put this down and come back here. So as you can see here, I've got my pages done. They look a little bit nicer, a little bit more spaced out, and I've got my uh, the highlighted text there just to make it look a little bit nicer. What we're going to do next is um, basically design, uh, so we connect the navigation bars to each of the two main pages that these are supposed to be linked to, and it's very simple. Click on the home page button, go to your folder here underneath next to the link field, and find the home page. And yes, even though we are on the home page, we want to make sure the home page is still connected. That every button needs to be make uh, needs to have this link and needs to be in working order. So click. That's okay. Done. Events page. Go here. Click. Events page. Events page. Oh, I've done what I always seem to do. I'm going to go back to this one again. Always check you're in the correct folder. This is going back to a, a, another website that I created early on. So go into your folder and make sure you are in the correct place. So here I am. Here I am. There you go. Home page done. Perfect. Now I can move on. Events page. There it is. Events page. That's okay. And then press save. Go to the next one. Do the same thing. Okay. And it's just as simple as that. Now I know this is not the only way to have links now there is another way but basically you could have used the template saved the template as an actual dwt file which is a, an actual template and then create these links the one time and then basically it would have like transferred over to the other pages however the problem is um, well not the problem the reason why i showed this way around is because there's no extra marks for doing that and this is actually the simplest way of doing it and let's face it this takes a couple of seconds to click on a button that you created go to this folder find the home page press ok next one events find the events page and press OK. Okay, so press save. Make sure you go through, save every single one, and then it should be fine. Now, yes, some of these pages won't have any connection yet. So, I mean, if I was to preview this um, here, you'll see that all you'll see is welcome to the home page. If I click on the events page, It'll go to the events page, which is perfect. But then I'm, all I can do is go back to home page again. Events page, home page, that's it. But the reason for that is because that's what the examiner wants. So if you look at the question, you'll see later on. In, in, in fact, the next video, we're going to be talking about thumbnails, which is the first requirement after the page template. So we've done everything now for the page to page template. We've created the pages. And now we can start the, the main bulk of the task, which is the more interesting thing. So we're going to look at this first one here in the next video. But you'll see that they are having the links from those pages, the home page and the events page, to those pages. And if you remember, one of the very first videos in this series, I showed you this. So we're going to go to the competition competition page from the home page and the writer's workshop page from the events page. And this is why if you had this drawn out earlier on, you have a, something to make a quick reference with rather than reading through the exam paper. If you have a, a little diagram like this, it's a constant reminder that this is what you need to do. So the thing you need to remind, I need to remind myself is something I've already forgotten is what I made notes on here. So that they want the writer's workshop to be really, really aimed, targeted specifically for teenagers. And the rest will be more adult um, and mature content. So it's all going to be professional, but we need to keep this in mind as well. Again, another reason why having something like this drawn out, even if it's rough on a piece of paper, not needing any rulers, anything like that, makes a huge difference, or can do at least. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about thumbnails uh, and how we can get that link.